Welcome back everybody, it's Kyle, McPhee Motor Cars Hot Rod and RC Shop, as promised. Uh, we're going to run a little uh, short course, crawler course here on these two uh, mini RC crawlers um, that I just got. One is, uh, we mentioned uh, in our short video, uh, the green 124 scale Axial SCX24 and the uh, yellow uh, Jeep crawler is uh, from Easy RC. It's called the Arizona. It's a 118 scale. Now the differences here um, is the Axial 67 Chevy C10 pickup that you're looking at is a licensed product through General Motors. So it has all of the Chevrolet detailing on it. And um, it's a pretty neat little truck. I, I, I was, I'm not into the small crawlers uh, historically. I like the big stuff. And uh, I wanted, with winter coming, I wanted something that we could uh, play around with in the garage here and, uh, or even maybe indoors. So um, we picked up these just to try them out. And uh, so that's a licensed product, very detailed. The uh, Axial's been around, um, you know, for a long time. They're a pretty uh, proven product. This Easy RC is kind of a um, uh, FMS product, which is a, uh, I believe, Taiwanese or um, maybe Jap or uh, uh, Chinese. I'm not sure, but they're the same company. One, they put out uh, FMS stuff, which is a little more expensive and a little more detailed. And they're, uh, they're, you know. Um, it's almost a toy grade, um, but it's uh, it still runs a lipo battery. So we'll try this. It's a one eight every time. So we're out here in the shop. It's a little getting cold around here in Mid Michigan, so we're indoors. Uh, got my trusty uh, golden retriever here, Thunder Chief. He likes to hang out. Uh, the problem with uh, trying to make videos with uh, Thunder here is he tends to uh, want to help the RCs out uh, when they're going through the, the course here. And he nudges them and knocks them over. And uh, so I might have to put him in the house when that uh, <laughs> when we start rolling. But uh, yeah, just a little uh, to finish up on the on the two trucks here. One's an 18th scale. The yellow one from uh, Easy RC is a 1 18th scale. Um, and then the uh, the smaller truck is a 124th. Now I wanted to compare the two, just kind of see what the differences were. And, and the big difference that uh, that I came across here is you're going to see it when we run them. Is the axial product is much, and these are bone stock. I haven't done any upgrades to either one of these. Um, bone stock. The axial is way better modulated throttle. Um, it's got a like a three-speed transmission that you can flip the switch from low, medium to high on the on the controller, um, and well balanced. In you don't, it, it seems to be designed to to not flip over, um, you know, easily. Now, on the other hand, the Arizona, which you would think is bigger, wider, um, it has. Uh, more of a toy grade to it. The controller is very basic. One speed, it's it's pretty much a slow speed crawler and it's not as modulated on the throttle. You got, you know, you would think uh, the Arizona was like $105 and the Axial was $140, I think, roughly uh, on Amazon for both, you know, each one of them. But the uh, the Arizona requires much more skill to drive because the controller uh, is not as precise, and so you have to really um, have throttle discipline on the on the basic style controller that comes with it. Um, so I would think that if I was to get somebody into this hobby to start with, I don't know that I'd put them on the Arizona because it actually, because of its, you know. Uh, lesser quality it's harder to drive and then the uh, axial so i would definitely i think the axial superior product and there's a ton of upgrade parts you can buy for these things you know people are putting bigger tires and shocks and servos um 
you know, all kinds of things. They have upgrades for these, and I'm sure you can put them on the uh, on the Arizona as well. I just don't know if the the control or the uh, the motor and the um, servo is going to handle much weight. It needs some lower weight. the The weight down low is is uh, too light, and it's a little top heavy, as you might see when we drive it. So. This is a little course I threw together in about 15 minutes out in the garage of stuff that I could just grab onto and throw out between the little rock valley there from uh, rocks out in the rock garden in the front yard. And I uh, had some salt bags laying around and they're so slippery I had to put a little tape on them. But, um, and just uh, put some screws and some boards here. So just kind of give you an idea of, of the difference between the two. So uh, let's, uh, let's start our test. All right, we're going to start with the uh, Arizona. As you can see, I've put the McPhee Motor Cars logo on the side. Um, here's a couple things with this. I don't know if you can see it real good here, but um, you know, it comes with the standard little. There's no foams inside these tires at all. They're not. They're no foams. You could probably I see some people running BBs in there to get some weight down low. Uh, but it has this opening hood here that's just kind of a little latch mechanism. And the battery is right under the hood. Very small battery, and there's a little on and off switch in there. Um, so that's pretty much how we turn it on. So let me reach in here and hit the switch. That's the thing with these small things. I like the larger stuff, but these small ones are so small. The switches and the wires and everything else. All right, that one's turned on. It comes with this little controller here. Here's the, it's almost like a toy grade looking controller. Uh, it doesn't have the foam on the wheel or anything like that, but just a simple um, steering trim and throttle trim buttons. It, it's a little wonky when we're talking about throttle trim on this. Um, it's kind of hard to get it dialed in. Anyway, this is this is about the, the speed of it as you can see here. I'll give you a little, we'll do a drag race on a bit here too, but that's wide open throttle for this one. So it is kind of a toy grade uh, crawler, but it, it does have aspects of uh, of the hobby grade stuff built into it a little bit. So let's give you a little sampling of how it crawls here. You know, I'm used to my Traxxas TRX, my big blazer that's just goes over anything. These little ones are a little more technical and you gotta get a little more wheel speed up to get them up the hills and stuff. Got slippery surfaces and we'll go over these rocks here real slow, but it's real hard to modulate the throttle with this one. So you can work around a little bit here. Alright, we're out of them. Rock Valley here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just dealing with a little bit of a slippery, slippery surface here. I probably need to put some stuff up on a rock. I think we high sided it here. There we go. Maybe put some cardboard or some carpet in there. There we go. There we go. Just gotta work through it, find the line. Now this is tough, you gotta really, it's top heavy, so you really gotta go slow here. Um, so it doesn't flip. All right, we made it. Struggled a little bit. Let's give it one more, uh, one more run here. And the tires are probably dirty and, and uh, they're not getting a lot of grip either, so let's try a, a different line here this time. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can... Uh, it does have little lights and stuff on it. Right Directional indicators come on when you turn them in. Oh, we got into never never right here. Alright. 
they call it hand of God in the RC world. Hand of God. Top heavy here. There we go. Right. You gotta go real slow. You can do it. Get a lot of throttle to control this truck. Real, real sensitive. Alright. We'll get a one more run through here and then we'll bust out the, uh, the axial. Pick up. Putting grease in the top end of the shock reservoirs on these just to slow the spring rate down a little bit because it was bouncing so much. It does probably need to have a little bit better of a, a upgraded shock on that bouncing causing it to go right over that's just from the shocks being too you know no dampening to the shocks you're just flipping it over when it gets in trouble there there we go all right the slippery surfaces it struggles with a little bit Alright, so I mean it works, it's a pretty good entry level uh, truck, I mean as far as price wise goes and no frills whatsoever, um, I think it's easy to operate, you know, I, I just think it, you know, it's going to take a lot of practice, it's, it's um, not very forgiving. Not very forgiving, which I think if you're going to be new at this you need something that is a little more forgiving. But if you practice enough with it and have some good throttle control, and um, it's it's a decent entry level crawler for 100 bucks, yeah, it's worth it. So there's your Easy RC Arizona 118 scale crawler off Amazon, 107 dollars. All right, next up is our Axial. It's the first Axial I've ever owned, actually. Axial 124 scale 1967 Chevrolet C10 looks like a short bed um, crawler very simplistic lots of articulation here uh, like no interior you know real big it's got uh, hood hood pins this is actually a flip up body it flips up which I like um, battery sits in the middle uh, right up in here and uh, it comes with a USB charger just like the Arizona 
uh, very simplistic. Um, the controller itself, a little more advanced than the Arizona, uh, more axial. Uh, you got a flip up uh, hood here, and uh, you have different uh, switches and adjustments trim, throttle, steering trim, throttle. It's got, like I said, three speed transmission low, medium, and high. Um, or range, I guess. It's a three speed range. And uh, yeah, it works pretty good. So let's give it a whirl. And what, uh, what the axial has, and that's about, I think we're in high gear here. It's about fast, fast as it'll go as well. So these aren't high speed uh, machines at all. But this one's got headlights, it's got working headlights, which is pretty cool. They're not switchable, they're, they're always on, there's no tail lights, but if you want to do a little uh, night crawling, you got some headlights. So. Alright, let's see what the, uh, what the little 124th scale axial will do. I'm going to get it lined up, my steering trim's off just a little bit here, hang on. Alright, I'm going to throw it in. Like a lower gear here. This has really got a really nicely modulated throttle. I mean, you can really, really gear it down and go slow. And the servo seems to be really good. Look at that. I mean, this is pretty impressive for for this thing compared to the other one. This, this is not even working hard here. It's not top heavy. Um, you can stand it right on its end almost. And it's pretty impressive. Look at that. The tires are gripping like crazy. Uh, that's pretty impressive for, uh, for that. I, I was not into these at all. I think they're the larger uh, trucks and uh, fast and high speed cars and stuff. I took and watched a couple of videos and I like the crawl with the big ones so I figured for indoors in the winter time maybe we can give it a whirl. I'm going to put it in low gear, low as it'll go here. But this would be a good indoor, you know, something to play around with in the winter time. I could definitely see getting a couple of these and getting some buddies over here drinking a few beers in the garage and having some competitions. Little high setup here, so you see if we can get off of it. Well, look, it worked its way right off with a little wheel speed. Look at this thing, it's impressive. And there's so many upgrades you can do to these things. I did order some wheel, there's uh, brass wheel weights that you can put inside the back of the wheels, it gives it a little bit more low, uh, low end weight. And uh, I ordered some of those. I'm gonna try those when they come in. Look at that. Very impressive with this. Um, again, an axial's been around and took for a while. You know what they're doing. I've never had one. This is the first axial product I had. Now, I have the big LMT Grave Digger by Losi. And I know Axial made a Grave Digger that uh, was, gets a lot of bad reviews compared to the Losi. But I've never had. I've never heard too many people complaining about these mini crawlers that actually fix out. They, they really are fun to, fun to run through. Look at that. It's right on its nose. I don't know if we can get it back in here. Look at that. Look at that flex. And it's not even rubbing the body. You don't hear any body rub on this thing. Now we're a big hole. Look at and it pulls right out of there. I can't believe that. Very impressive. Very impressive. I mean, it has all the attributes of a full-size crawler. Um, it really does. Pretty well engineered, in my opinion. So, that's the Axial. 67 C10. I think it comes in gunmetal gray as well. Um, I like this one because it had the 
kind of a shop truck look to it with the logo on the door and stuff. Of course, we added our logo on the roof. There wasn't any body panel big enough to put it on, so we had to put it on the roof. But look at it work its way through that lot. Pretty impressive. Now, I don't know longevity. I don't know, you know about the servos and all that. We'll find out. We'll kind of keep up here. Oh, he's working in that rock pit right there. Look at that. Very, very impressive. So I was definitely, uh, this one just destroys the 2018 scale Arizona from, from Easy RC. And I would pay the extra, I mean, if you're wanting to get somebody into this, this truck is more realistic uh, in how it handles and it's more forgiving in working its way out of some of these look at that. I mean very very impressive I like it I really like it I don't know what upgrades I want to do I don't think I'm going to get too crazy with it I might just put some real weights on it to uh Give it a little bit more down low weight. Higher gear. You're not made for speed. That's full throttle right there. Might return nice. And uh, like I said, the throttle on this thing is super modulated. I mean, you can really gear it down so it creeps. Look at that. Watch me. Even uh, the tire, I'm impressed with those tires on the slippery salt bags. Man, it really beats itself up getting over the rocks, but. Like I said, this is the first time I only ran this truck, these minis, for. I don't know, two or three days of messing around with them. Very impressed on the realism of this one compared to the, like, the large ones that I have. Very impressive. Alright, that's going to do it for our... Uh, oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a drag race, aren't we? Let's drag race them and see what, uh, what one's faster. Alright, we'll see. Let's put a little side by side. Okay, we're going to do a little side-by-side -side, uh, drag race here, just to see what uh, the difference is in speed with these two things. They're both slow, but we'll see which ones. And they're both tough to dial in the, the, the trim, the steering trim, but the Arizona is much more difficult to dial in the trim. So I don't know if I can drive them one-handed or not, but we're going to see. Three, two, one. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. They were almost dead dead uh, heat at the line. Almost. Let's run them back and see what happens. Alright. I'm wondering what's sitting next to me here. This is my 1991 Ford Mustang. Fox body. 5.0. It's a uh, original. It's got a few bolt-on modifications. It's uh, bright red. Two-owner car. Less than. Let's see, it's got seventy-two thousand original miles on it. It's, uh, it's one car. Three, two, one. We got the axle by a Fender. One-handed drive is tough. Pretty even right there. The axial by a fender. That's your garage review of the Easy RC Arizona 118th and the Axial SCX2467 Chevy C10 124 scale. And our vote 
between the two goes to the axial. Stay tuned for more of our videos coming. Winter's coming, so we might be doing some more indoor stuff. We might even take some of our big uh, machines out um, uh, out in the snow this winter. And uh, we're going to start wrenching on snowmobiles pretty soon. So maybe we'll put some videos out of uh, what we got going on in the uh, snowmobile um, world. Stay tuned. Take care, everyone.